Hey, what's going on YouTube? Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to use attack move and start kiting like a pro. This can be used on every single role in League of Legends, but usually AD carries will get the most use out of attack move. I'm sure at some point, or even maybe still, a lot of you are using your right click to attack and move backwards when you're trying to kite enemies. You know, maybe you're doing it and you're in the zone and you're kiting like a god, you think you're even better than Faker, you know, the adrenaline's pumping, you're being a beast, but the next thing you know, you misclick beside that target, you move towards them, and the problem is, in this video, the dummy is a Talon, and you get one shot. I'm sure this has happened to most of you, it's definitely happened to me, and this is a trick you want to do to make sure you never embarrass yourself again. So the first thing you're going to have to do if you want to attack move is of course set your hotkeys. So what you need to do is hit your escape key, go to the hotkeys section, scroll down until you see player movement, and you'll see player attack move click and player attack move. You don't have to use both of these, but for the purposes of this video, I will be setting my player attack move click to A and player attack move to X. So once you got these set to the key you want them on, hit OK, and then it's time to start testing. OK, so first we're going to start with my favorite player attack move click, which is bound to my A key. So if you want to test this yourself, you can of course open the practice tool and all you want to do is just move around and hit your A key. You're going to notice that as soon as you hit that key, your champion's going to stop and shoot the target that's closest to you. You don't even have to hit your A key with your mouse anywhere near that target, as long as they are nearby, you will stop and shoot them. So for a while, you're going to want to start practicing by just moving with your right click and hitting your A key whenever you can to hit the target. You will of course have to time this with your attack speed because you don't want to be cancelling your auto attacks and you don't want to be standing around for a long duration before you attack because that kind of defeats the purpose of kiting. So buy a couple items if you want or even a Doran's Blade and just practice moving around and hitting the target with your A key. Of course on one final note as well, you do have to get used to your champion's attack range because you don't want to be stutter stepping back in towards targets that also defeats the purpose of kiting. Try to remain at max range or at least close and kite your target. There is one downside to this, but I'm going to show you how to solve that. There is one problem in the fact that you will only attack the target closest to you, and that is a problem if it's something like a Mundo and you'd rather hit a Teemo right behind them. So I'm going to create another totem and pretend this one behind this target is a lot squishier and we would rather attack it because it is still in our attack range. So as you can see right now, although this target is in our attack range, no matter where I put my cursor, I will attack the target that's closest to me, so of course it is the one in front of us. That's going to be a big problem for us in the late game because if that target in the back is one we can two shot, of course we should get rid of that before we attack the tankier one in the front. So what you need to do here is hit the escape key, go to the game section and scroll down until you see attack move cursor and turn that on. Of course always hitting the target right in front of us is a big downside, so let's see what happens. Now as you can see whenever I hit my A key I will hit the target that's closest to my cursor so if I want to hit a squishier target in the back line, that solves this issue. You'll be able to move your cursor around through teamfights and attack all the targets you want regardless of where they are positioned as long as they are in your attack range. This also needs to be turned on when you are trying to farm minions as well because always having to attack the one in the front can make you miss a lot of CS. So now let's look at the other key we binded, play or attack move. If you've selected the same hotkeys as this video, of course this will be the X key. As soon as you press that X button, you'll see a circle pop up. As soon as you left click, you'll attack the target closest to your cursor, as long as of course you have attack move on cursor still turned on. This is pretty much the same as not having quick cast on for your abilities, because of course in that situation you also have to left click after you press the key. This will make kiting a little bit harder for you, because of course you have to weave in those left clicks as well, but if you do want a little bit more precision by having that little target pop up, then of course it's good in that scenario. There is another great feature with this however, which I'll show you in this next clip. So if you're using these attack moves and you kind of have trouble with your ranges, you do have an option to show your range, at least for that X key, player attack move. So to turn this on, what you want to do is hit escape, go to the interface section and scroll down until you see ability and attack display, and then click show attack range. This is going to really help you out when you are kiting with player attack move because it will help you stay at a maximum radius. As you can see, whenever the X button is pressed, a circle will pop up, indicating your maximum range. So now when you are kiting with player attack move, you will want to keep those enemies just at the outside of the circle so you keep your maximum range, but make sure they don't pop outside of it. If you do, you will of course waste a little bit of time because you will be stutter stepping towards that target, and of course you generally just don't want to move towards the target whatsoever. This is generally why I will keep player attack move click and player attack move both binded because I will use player attack move click to kite, but if I need to know my range, I'll hit the X key and it will be indicated. So, well, what do you do now? Well, you can just start by practicing on minions, or of course you can just hop right into games and get thrown right into it. 
Of course, for the first little bit, I would recommend trying this in the practice tool for a little bit, and when you do have the hang of it, of course you can try last hitting minions with it as well, but usually you can just use right click anyways, and then start trying to kite your enemies when they are towards you. But that's pretty much all I have to show on this video. It will take you some time to get used to, but when you do master it, it's a hell of a lot better than using your right click over and over again. It'll make kiting so much easier for you, and you're not going to have that problem where you move towards a target and just get deleted because you misclick. But if you guys did enjoy this video, please like and subscribe. I really would appreciate it. But other than that, take it easy, have a good day, and peace.